Hello and happy new year to you all my lovelies. I love you guys. I love you so much from the bottom of my heart and I pray that this new year is going to be better, grander, bigger, <laughs> so much more fulfilling and blessed than last year. And this year I believe is going to be your best year yet. Okay, best year yet. So um, again, I've missed you guys, I really have. I just got done um, teaching um, some CNA students that I have that I private tutor. And then I remembered, oh my God, I need to come to my channel and um, announce the giveaway winner, winners. So um, um, my first winner, and I have talked about her before, but again, that's the thing. If you if you are participating, you win stuff. <laughs> so my giveaway winner is um oh my god, I'm so excited about this person, J. Qualtres Bosman. J. Qualtres Bosman is so driven. She, I mean, she is asking questions and she is supportive. And she follows instructions well, which is very, very important when you are, um, when you are in this um, business, you're in this career. Okay, you need to be able to follow instructions and directions because you're taking care of people. So Jay Qualtress is the winner of. Um, she's getting the seven techniques that work to pass your state. CNA exam. Again, this book is Working Miracles. I did tell you guys before. Um, I should, I'll try and see if I can bring people to talk about how this book has helped them. But I will tell you, a lot of my students have gone on to do great things, you know, greater and better things, and I'm so excited. But if they can take time out of their busy schedule, <laughs> I'll, um, I'll have them do something, okay? But, you know, be sure to follow my Instagram and my Facebook at Nurse Amy Academy, okay? So um, you would find them, um, you know, talking about how good this has been for them, okay? So one more chance to win this. So I, I do have this. So I'm gonna give this to um, um, J. Qualtress, Okay, so we still have this. I have a feeling I'm probably gonna give two of them to her, but I still wanna give one more, maybe of this, one more of this, yes. One more of this. This is more, um, this is seven tips on how to prepare for your state CNA exam. So it's about you preparing the mental space you need to be in and how you can go in there and just wow, the test of service. So it does go hand in hand, I will tell you that. This teaches you about the techniques, okay? Techniques that I have perfected to help you with your, with carrying out your skills, okay? This tells you how to prepare for being in front of and being in that space of testing things that you need to do, the kind of character traits that you need to have and how people will just, again, it's work for my students. People will be rooting for you. Your nurse test observer will be rooting for you. It has worked and it is working, okay? So again, for anyone who still wants, um, you know you know what to do. Again, um, go on, Nurse Amy Academy, tag me, okay? Tag me, say something about yourself. And even, and then um, write to me, yes. Write to me at nurseamyacademy at gmail.com why you want this, okay? Not everyone, some people are just shy going to the camera. Okay, okay, okay. Because I wanna, I wanna bless, I wanna give people something, okay? Write to me and let me know why you want it okay that 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 means a lot to me um in that it, sh it tells me how much you want it okay so um what have you guys been up to 
So let me quickly take a question from, I think her name is Leticia. Leticia Wright. Leticia Wright. Right, yes. Leticia Wright. I usually don't use people's last name, but um, she gave me permission to. And the reason why I'm using her last name, there's a reason for that. So um, a new CNA, she graduated last year and she said that um, she got work at, um, at the nursing home and some nurses, which is interesting because a new nurse, a new LPN nurse and this person pretty much, um, again, I think is tantamount to abuse. What, the, what this nurse, this new LPN did, this is the interesting thing about this. And the reason, there's a reason why I'm using Leticia Wright's last name. I was actually going to call up the nursing home, but I decided not to. Anyone who knows Leticia Wright here in, in Ohio, um, actually I was saying Cincinnati, Ohio. So you do know, because she said she wanted me to do this and I'm going to do it. So um, this nurse this new brand spanking brand new lpn actually was an aide like her but then passed the lpn um and clacks and now she's a practicing lpn and she, she, according to leticia she's one of the meanest people ever this is what happened leticia um night was night shift and um the lpn had her do a wound treatment. Now, Leticia, I love you, but if you have been following my channel, clearly you didn't go through my class. Um, wound treatment is never anything that CNA does. Now, I've heard people saying, well, you know, where I work, I can do this. I can. There are a lot of things that happen where you work. I've told you guys before, there is a difference between work world and book world. However, in the work world, if you do wrong and you're caught, so that's the thing once, and if you do get cut, then you get in trouble. So this is what happened. Um, and I have shared cases like this with my students before in class because these things keep happening. Um, so she did a wound treatment. Oh my God, Leticia. And then what Leticia now did was she um, wrote her name, her initials, because the nurse told her it was okay. And she said the reason why, because the girl is a bully, this new nurse is a bully, her colleague. And she went ahead and did it because she didn't want any trouble. And of course, the nurse that worked behind Leticia's nurse saw the um, initials. And some nurses are very nosy. Some nurses, I mean, you might call it nosy, but then it, again, it's just being diligent. She didn't recognize the initials. So she went and checked and said, well, who did this dressing? It wasn't the nurse's initials. Well, come to find I was Letitia Wright. Okay, so I'm moving it forward. So what happened, Letitia now wrote to me because, um, you know, the DON called her, blah, 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 blah. And they called the nurse also. And the nurse is like, the nurse denied it because initially the nurse was like, no, I just told her, this is what we've all done before. I've worked with her, we've worked with other nurses. And what they do is when they're doing treatments, they have us do the da da da. Anyway, so Leticia was like, she was livid and they did suspend the two of them. And Leticia wrote to me to find out if she had, if she had grounds, she came across my video through I don't know how, but she used it. Actually, she used my video in studying for her state exam. And she was like, oh, well, um, do they have a right to fire me? No, to suspend me. And I wrote to her and I said, Leticia, well, thank God you were not fired. Or was still, um, you could have gotten in trouble, big trouble, because you're acting outside of your scope of practice. And the reason why I'm using, because she asked me to, she said she felt so bad. I said a lot of things could have happened, okay? She could have, the person that she did the treatment on, I'm sure maybe you're good, Leticia. However, your scope of practice doesn't, doesn't give you permission to touch your patients in that way. 
So something could have gone wrong. Anything could have gone wrong and it could have been linked back to that. And then guess what? You would have lost your license or lost your, um, because people were like, oh, well, CNAs don't have license. Yes, but they can be liable. Okay, so even if it's a diploma or certificate you have, the um, nursing agency registry, nursing agency, nursing assistant registry, um, you, you could be docked, okay? Any number of things could happen. So Leticia was now, when I told her that, she, now she, first of all, she was surprised at that. She's like, well, I was always told that it was okay to do treatments. I'm like, where did they tell you that? She's like, that's what we do our work. Again, if you passed her my class or you've been watching my videos, um, you will realize that, no, that is not something that is within your scope of practice just because a nurse asks you to do it or that you guys are doing it, it's just what everybody does, doesn't make it right, okay? Now, um, another thing was, um, she said the reason why she's so upset because what happened was the nurse, who is an LPN, now also did something else to her in that she was checking blood sugars, um, pretty much doing what the nurse should be doing. And she's like, the reason why I want you to talk about this and I don't care that my name is out there, um, that was her email to me, so that they know that other people will know, look, this happened to me because there are people who know that it did happen because it was a big thing at the facility. But so also it's, um, it's, it's her way of saying, look, I'm turning what I learned, I wanna use it for good. So I'm like, okay, fine, I will do that as long as you give me permission to do that. However, um, she did give me the other nurse's name. I'm not using her name um, because there's only Leticia that spoke to me, but I do know about LPNs and nurses who are brand spank who are spanking brand new and you think you can then now bully those that are not in the same position as you. You all know that's something I don't like. I First of all, I don't like bullying. I don't think anyone should bully anyone because whatever position you're in is given to you by God. Yes, I'm starting to preach, but it's the truth, okay? So whatever you do, you know what? Something I started to do, but then I stopped, but maybe I'm gonna start it again, is going through that textbook. Okay, the CNA, the do's, the don'ts and all that. I started it because I do, I teach it in my class with my students. You know, I teach the whole book. So you understand it. You understand what your duties are, what the nurse's duties are. I also teach things and ways that you can combat these problems or these challenges when they come, when you come across them. You know, there will always be nurses that bully, but then CNAs also bully nurses, okay? So I call what is wrong is wrong and what's right is right. So um, Leticia, moving forward, I'm glad you know this. You got, you were suspended for, and this is one thing that pissed her off too. <laughs> she was suspended for, I think about, well, it was more than three days. I don't know if she said two weeks. I can't remember now. I don't have the letter in front of me. And the nurse got went back after three days. And she's like, that's not fair. I totally get it. But moving forward, thank God you didn't lose your job. What you did was wrong. Okay. Um, they could have fired you. And I think the reason why the two of you were not fired is because of the shortage. Okay. So thank God for COVID, right? But moving forward, please, for CNAs that are listening to me and even nurses, it is not okay to make your CNAs do things that are outside of the scope of practice. Okay, so um, so Leticia, I'm glad you learned something. And again, remember, if you guys want any more of this, I'm still giving this away. Write to me, nurseamyacademy at gmail.com. Why do you want this? Okay, why do you want it? Tell me. Maybe you want it for somebody else, but you got to tell me what, what's your story. Okay, and congratulations, uh, J. Qualtrez Bosman, you are getting this. Okay, and um. Until I come your way again, be safe, be kind, and just put good out there. It will find you. There's no need to be mean. Mean people are miserable people. All right, you take care. Be warm. Mwah.